I told you, your black is beautiful, okay? But let's get into today's story, y'all. A former adult star who went by the name of Jasmine Kashmir, who's done hundreds of movies, quote unquote, has now turned her life over to Christ and is a born again Christian, as well as a pastor in Chicago. And a lot of her old fans are shocked. She's been doing this for a while now, but it recently went viral when someone saw a video of her and was like, hold up, ain't that Jasmine? Yeah, they put one and two together, so here we are. I guess people ain't really know it was her, her, because she's been preaching under her real name, Nicole B. But yeah, in her sermon, she lets it be known that if she can do it, you can too. That she's been through a lot in life, but she does not let that define who she is, whether it be from her laying on her back just to pay the rent and so forth. And she has also revealed that her own mother abandoned her since birth at the hospital. Mm, that's crazy. You just never know what someone has been through or is going through that makes them do certain things in life. So with that being said, we definitely want to congratulate this queen for turning her life around and turning it over to the higher power. You go, girl. Hmm. Y'all know who this is? <laughs> well, you're gonna try to catch us up, Pam. <laughs> Do y'all know who this is? No, nah, okay. Well, I do. I plead the fifth. <laughs> nah, I don't plead the fifth. <laughs> I've heard of her before. She had this one barbershop scene. Well, never mind, but yo, <laughs> <laughs> so. So that's Jasmine Cashmere. This is like four years, five years. Um, she's been out the industry, I think, since 2016. So that's what, 10, seven years, six years. So she, like, like she said, y'all got the gist of it. Hundreds of movies. Now she a pastor in, in, in Chicago. So, you know, we're talking about grace and who is given to. Um, so I was going to put should hoes, uh, <laughs> be afforded more grace but then that that narrows it down because no <laughs> chick can be a hoe right no chick ever be like yeah i was a hoe uh you know so let's just talk about it's it, levels right? to the whole shit yeah so, <laughs> so i wanted to include all levels of said wholeness so should women be given grace in terms of the sexual liberation in terms of sexual liberation only god can judge her no negative there we go with that bullshit. Go ahead, B. Go ahead. No, B. no, 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 no. no. I had is less than two thousand. <laughs> ah, <laughs> let me get that's in. Let me get bullshit. In. Okay, only God can judge. No, the Bible says judge oh, righteously. God. Don't get caught up in that. B. All right, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Mm. Who? This is um. That's a tough one. Um. Mm. <sighs> So you know how men are judgmental if women have sex with too many niggas, and that could be subjective based on the man, based on her age, based on where she lived, based on what she whatever. But we don't give that much grace regardless of the reason. <coughs> so that's kind of if I was being more pointed to Q's point about the initial uh question. Um so should we give them more grace? Mm -hmm. Even if they've been fucking and all that. Mm -hmm. Yes, we give y'all grace. Not y'all. It's not your turn. <laughs> Damn. Who turn is it? I can't. I can't. We don't be knowing what he's talking about. <laughs> Listen, I will be nice to you if you're nice to me, Mary. <laughs> I be oh. trying. I be. <laughs> Go ahead, I Come on, B. Spit it out. I'll answer the question. I can't see to where I know. I know. I don't see it. What? Because, like, as a, I just can't see to where. I just no. I I can't see it. Keep keep that thing precious is what I say. He don't even like. Women. Yeah, I'm not even keeping it precious. Not, hold don't on, do that. Not, thing. Not, oh, yo, yo, yo. All right, come on, y'all. Come on. Because y'all say a lot of fucking dumb shit too, and I ain't cutting y'all off. Go ahead, B. <laughs> I, I I I say no. Um, I I I don't see it. Uh, that's just me personally. Um, I say I, I say no, no. Because like when you have that high body count, that thing raises up. It's like you can't come back from that. Like how do you come back from being a porn star? Like how do you come back from that? Like I can't see it, but that's just me personally. <laughs> Can we define sexual liberation first before? Because are we being specific to uh, body count, or are we just speaking in general about what it is that she may or may not like? 
sexually. Like body, the things that she would be not giving grace for. So if she like anal sex, we not fucking judging her off that, right? I never really heard a woman exclude a man because, or a man exclude a woman because she wanted wanted anal sex or something like that. So if she wanted to explore in the bedroom. I don't think men are too, you know what I mean, standoffish about that. But we talking about what we, you know, what it is, right? Two thousand bodies, six nah. bodies, she four bodies. Fuck no, no. Hey, yo, no B, grace. no grace. B. I feel like every man got a right to like choose. Like I don't feel well, like. Let me just make sure he done. Is that it, B? Yeah, 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 yeah. She ain't getting no grace from me. Hell no. We got that. Hell. 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 That was <laughs> that was fucking uneventful as hell, man. Go ahead, Mary. Right. Okay. A lot of times, a lot of times, I feel like somebody, when it comes to that type of thing, somebody should be judged in regards to who they are when they're with you. Um. Now, of course, <laughs> two thousand bodies is extreme. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. No, honestly, like we're we're gonna say two thousand bodies is definitely extreme. If you're ran through. That's extreme, but if you're mm -hmm. with somebody and you're not fucking 200 niggas, why does it matter? Like, a lot of times these niggas are with bitches that they don't know used to sell pussy. Like, I watched this, I, I could watch a girl on social media that her nigga don't know that she used to sell pussy, but she was on a goddamn website selling pussy. Like, you don't even know that. You get what I'm saying? But because of that's how she act when she with you, I, is, I mean, it is what it is. It, it honestly, what happens when he knows though? What happens when he knows? That's up to him. He might just be like, you know what? As long as you're not fucking all these niggas while you with me, it don't matter. It's, it's dependent now? on who you're. It's dependent on who you're with. If that man decides wow. that he's okay with it, then he's okay with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Does that man exists. <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking two hundred niggas it ain't gonna determine the size of your coochie hole. That's all dependent on your body and your muscles. And men do the same exact thing. Oh, you you the the you had the time. You, you had, had, had the fucking now, floor. Now, me personally, I would not sleep with a bunch of niggas. I can't. That's just not something I'm into. But I'm not going to be like the next nigga won't like another. You know how many niggas out here be wife and stripper bitches that fuck niggas? Fucked a lot of niggas for some extra change? Okay. Like and they because the bitch bad, they're like, all right, cool. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Eddie. I just think you're talking about bottom of the barrel men. If y'all done this on several episodes, man, y'all make these extreme uh examples. It's like no man of any type of decency or any type of legitimate background and has respect for himself is remotely entertaining. Any woman that has a ridiculous background like that. And we've said this before, like, we'll smash her, but we're not going to take her seriously. And you said, like, we might not know her background. Just like, no, nah, we do our own investigations as well. It's just like, it, it just doesn't, I, I don't I don't know any dudes that will marry a stripper. That, that's ridiculous. But then what does that say about y'all as men if you'll smash her knowing all of that? You're talking about the women and... You know, they're just giving themselves and being loose. But what does that say about them? It says about me. It says that I know how to make decisions. And it says that and I know how to protect you myself. You smash anything. You stick your dick in no. it. A lot of you don't know how many, how much men, women slept with. A lot of you do not know. I'm, I'm being honest with you. As a woman, a lot of you niggas do not know how many men a woman has. I know. Because I'll get you tested. And if you just burn if through the bad, test, then you know. get tested and be clean. That does not determine how many men a woman has slept with. Yeah, you we just go but again, if I'm just know. smashing you, that doesn't matter. If I'm not looking to put a ring on your finger, I'm gonna know. And then you don't care about your own self thing. So that You're means not, you I do. do. I just about. said I'm getting you tested. I don't want you burning through me like you burned through the streets. So <laughs> <laughs> you would never know how many men a woman has slept with. You would never. You will never again, know. if I make that decision, y'all agree three. with me. Y'all just want to hear y'all. You slept with three men. That's the answer. It's three. No, you got to multiply that by three. It's just three. And then by five. <laughs> and that's that's three times three is only nine. Y'all are agreeing with me, but y'all don't want to admit to that. Like, y'all have this this sister code that y'all try to uphold. Admit to what? Like, I'm just saying, necessary. you will never know. You will never know what, how what, many. What he's saying is, like, Mary, yeah, you don't know, but what we we go off what we do know or what we think or what we feel and so if we feel think or know 
any of those numbers being excessively high. Shit. Put him in the fucking bathroom. Get him out of here. That's what he going off. So you making that point is moot. But Let you could me... be missing out on on the woman of your dreams. Yeah, can no, I? I'm not missing out on her. People she has. I'm not missing out on her. She's still in my dreams. How many <laughs> how many partners a woman has had has nothing to do with how yes, she treats you? Yes, it does. Man, they said they want virgins. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It has nothing to do with how she treats you. It's like we talk about this episode as as episode, and it y'all just like. As long as wait, one year hundred niggas while she with you, it shouldn't matter. Well, let me. It let does me, matter. Me, Absolutely me. matters. Why? Wow. If you I ninety five out here but... versus a private street, everybody's on I ninety five, and the tolls don't stop them either. Ain't even no toll lady no more. You just go right through. 